Well, scientists in the Amazon rainforest may have found the world's biggest snake. Yes. An area of Amazon rainforest roughly the size of a football pitch is now being cleared every minute. The Amazon rainforest covers 3 million square miles of South America and is home to an estimated 3 million unique animal species and 3,000 plant species. However, the vast majority of these remain undiscovered. Recent research has unveiled a chilling revelation deep within the Amazon's lush expanse, potentially posing consequences for humanity. Among these discoveries are bizarre creatures, lethal plants oozing poison, and mysterious fungi with the potential to devastate entire ecosystems. What are these enigmatic species and what makes them so alarming? Join us as we uncover the most unsettling findings concealed within the heart of the Amazon rainforest. The Vampire Wasp. A female vampire ground wasp with gruesome feeding behavior was discovered. According to reports, this wasp displays one of nature's most gruesome parasitic feeding strategies. It also acts as an incubator where she can inject up to 60 eggs into a living animal to support her. The wasp feasts on prey by depositing larvae underneath the victim's skin. As dangerous as it is, it stings and sucks blood too. The vampire wasp is creepy. It is a bright yellow creature that can grow up to 0.7 of an inch. Also, it has an abnormally large head, which got a nod in its name, Capitojapa Amazonica, simply Capito. This tends to become a Spanish nickname for someone with a big head. Where it acts as an incubator, it was noted that once the host is located and mounted, the female will frantically stroke it with her antennae. It will then deposit a single egg inside the host by piercing it with her ovipositor. The ovipositor is a tube-like, egg-laying organ. The eggs naturally hatch after a few days, while the offspring develop inside their host. They come out once they have grown into fully formed adult wasps. This discovery was reported by a doctoral candidate in biology at Utah State University, whose team discovered the wasps. The entire life cycle, from egg to larva to mature wasp, lasts around one month as the parasites progress from bean-sized worms to winged adults ready to continue the nightmare. Hence, when the vampire wasp larvae hatched inside the host, they left the victim alive but drained and weakened by the traumatic experience of feeding themselves on its blood and tissue. Also, continually, the prey surrenders before the parasites finish maturing. Therefore, the infected carcass then houses the larvae as they enter the pupae stage and chew their way out to freedom from the drained skins of the once vibrant host. According to ancient stories, there are rare instances where these wasps have invaded humans. For numerous small Amazon creatures, a lightning-fast sting promises a slow, paralyzed death sentence to feed the next generation of wasps manifesting inside them. The Ancient Amazon Cave Paintings in 2017, scientists discovered an extensive network of cave artwork dating back 12,000 years in the Colombian rainforest. These artworks provide incredible evidence of early human culture. The ancient cave paintings talk about unknown hunter-gatherer tribes who once lived in the dense jungle alongside various unusual animals. There are faded images covering miles of cave walls and ceilings, it displays colorful reports of beasts from the Pleistocene era, corresponding to when early humans first relocated to the Americas. However, some pictured species, such as capybaras, marsh deer, and monkeys, still exist today. They offer recognizable glances at the modern Amazon's flora and fauna. The artwork also displayed weird dead creatures. Some of these are herds of mastodons and ground sloths, towering over human figures armed with spears. These paintings reveal a biologically rich world lost due to climate shifts and overhunting. Hence, the sustained artistry in these ancient cave paintings implies a deep appreciation for the vibrant habitat and its inhabitants, dating back to humanity's earliest days in the rainforest. With this, archaeologists are hopeful that further excavations in other caverns will reveal similar sites. 
This will provide a better understanding of the lifestyles and beliefs of ancestral jungle communities during their settlement in the Amazon forests. Let's look at the hottest river in the world, the Amazon Hot River. In this river, when someone falls into it, the person will die or get severe burns. The Shanai Timpishka, also known as the Boiling River of the Amazon, is a tributary of the Pachatea River, which in turn flows into the Ucayali River, a major tributary of the Amazon River. It is evaluated as the largest documented thermal river in the world. The entire river system flows for 5.6 miles, with the lower 3.9 miles being dominated by hot geothermal water. The river starts as a small, ambient temperature jungle stream that is supercharged by geothermal waters flowing into the stream channel through fault-fed hot springs. It then turns the small stream into the impressively big boiling river. At its widest point, the thermal river gets nearly 100 feet wide. At its deepest point, it can get to around 15 feet deep. Temperatures in the river can range from near ambient temperatures to 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, the hottest average water temperature measured in the river reached 207 degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest spring temperature measured on the river reached 210.4 degrees Fahrenheit. As we get closer to the boiling river of the Amazon, nature starts to change. The river would turn from cold to warm. It feels so warm that it makes for a perfect jacuzzi. Right in the water would be seen some animals that were already boiled alive. It felt like a whole new planet. The smoke itself can make someone faint. The steam seems to be from a giant outdoor sauna with no escape. At the core of the boiling river of the Amazon, the river temperature was 200.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Ironically, the degree of its hotness can make tea just from the river water. It can also be said that it is so hot that one can boil an egg inside of it and eat it for breakfast. It isn't a volcano, but it is even more unique than being a volcano. Geothermal heating, or water that comes from the bottom of the earth, is 100% natural and amazing. The locals find the river holy and use it for spiritual healing. They take care of it and make sure it's protected. The world's hottest river can kill if one gets too close to it. But if it's been treated nicely and carefully like the locals do, the river can become very considerate, cool, and relatable. The Sawtooth Dolphin. In 1993, American Jeremy Wade saw an unusual sea creature lurking under the still waters. He made this discovery during a solo fishing trip in the Amazon basin. While he approached 100 feet from his small boat, the animal naturally looked like a gray dolphin. However, at a closer look, its body sported evenly carved cuts spanning from head to tail. Wade was confused, so he asked locals from a nearby village about the strange swimmer, but his claimed discovery was dismissed as a drunken illusion. Fascinating enough, after some weeks, Wade learned that one villager had also witnessed an identical species given the name Holodera, or Sawtooth Dolphin. Jeremy was so determined to confirm the dolphin's existence. In 1994, he set up another well-documented expedition, this time with the strategy of capturing the wonder on camera. According to some experts' theories, the markings resulted from a botched pirate fishing job, or perhaps a desperate escape from sharks. Regardless of this report, without any other pictorial evidence, the creature's origins remain submerged in mystery. Continuing in his research, Wade is still looking for the first one who got away. This seems to be an elusive Amazon spectacle that briefly revealed itself before disappearing back into the swirling currents. According to scientific analysis, the rough-toothed dolphin is a relatively large species. Their adults range from 6.9 to 9.3 feet in length and also weigh between 90 and 155 kilograms. Their males are larger than their females. The dolphin's most visible characteristic feature is its conical head and slender nose. Whereas other dolphins either have a shorter snout or a more visibly bulging melon on the forehead. As the common name for the species implies, the teeth are also distinctive, 
having a roughened surface formed by numerous narrow, irregular ridges. They have been reported to have between 19 and 28 teeth in each quarter of the jaw. The rough-toothed dolphin's jaw on the outside is very distinct. The color of the lower jaw is usually white, but can have a hint of pink mixed in. The flippers are set back further along the body than in other similar dolphins. Although at sea, the dolphin may be confused with spinner, spotted, and bottlenose dolphins. The dorsal fin is from 18 to 28 centimeters, that is, 7.1 to 11.0 EO inches in height. The animal's flanks are light gray, while the back and dorsal fins are a much darker gray. Older individuals often have distinctive pinkish, yellow, or white markings around the mouth and along the underside. The Puss Caterpillar The Puss Caterpillar has a harmless appearance, but it is a tiny, toxic terror. It is hidden among the vegetation in the rainforest. Only by a centimeter does it have a harmless golden-brown coat. It conceals specialized cells, which include dangerous chemicals. This notes that it is not safe to just use a hand on the caterpillar. The primary defense mechanism of the puss caterpillar involves disguise. It allows it to mix with leaves and bark. The rough hairs covering the puss caterpillar help it hastily escape as it drops to safety when it has been discovered in disguise. Whenever the caterpillar is attacked, it reveals its true strength by stabbing predators with poisonous spines lining its fuzzy coat. The resulting toxin induces worrying welts on human skin. According to scientific studies, toxin destroys cellular membranes and blood vessels, which leads to leakage, swelling, and tissue death. However, despite its small size, hitting the Puss caterpillar can result in quick and long-lasting pain. The consequences of coming into contact with this unpretentious hairball highlight the importance of respecting the Puss caterpillar's dangerous nature. That is why, beyond surface damage, warnings highlight the risk of toxicity entering the bloodstream. It could potentially cause organ failure or death without quick medical intervention. Meanwhile, as healthy adults naturally escape lasting impacts, children and the elderly with caterpillar spine bites endure high-risk levels. It necessitates urgent medical care, regardless of its small size. The Payara Fish The Payara Fish is termed an opportunistic hunter with a mouthful of daggers or saber-toothed tiger. It patrols the swift currents of the Amazon. It has 16-inch fangs, which it uses as a built-in ivory tooth to ambush targets from below. It also has lightning speed and a deadly maw, which seem impossible to escape from. The aggressive fish glides through the water and terrorizes everything edible in its path. Pirates, catfish, tetras, and other small fish make up the bulk of Payara victims, though cautious birds, rodents, and mammals also risk getting snatched from shore by a leaping Payara serving as a quick snack. According to unverified reports, fishermen and natives fall prey to the water wolves when wading too deep. While hopefully being an exaggerated tale, the Payara's power and reflexes make the trophies of hooks, spears, and body scars sported by proud local anglers, understandable tall tales, or unpleasant truths. Rightly earning a place among the Amazon's most notorious beings, Payara dominates their water domain. It continually patrols and tests the boundaries of rainforest rivers in search of careless meals, wandering too close to the depths of teeth, eternally waiting below. The most noticeable feature of this fish is the two long fangs sticking out from its lower jaw. These are used to stab their prey, mostly smaller fish. It typically reaches a standard length of about 1.0 feet, but can reach up to 1.7 feet. There are reports of far larger individuals, up to 3.8 feet in total length and 17.8 kilograms in weight. This is based on records from the IGFA. The Pyra fish is overall silvery, with a dark spot behind the opercle and another at the lower base of the pectoral fin. In adults, the tail is dusky on the basal half, turning paler and more transparent towards the tip. The Arapaima. The Arapaima is known to be the largest scale freshwater fish on Earth. It has a remarkable size, 
with an average length of 15 feet and a weight of 440 pounds. It has a tough size, which is rounded out by rows of thick, impenetrable armored scales. This creates an adaptive body shield that renders the Arapaima impenetrable to attacks from piranhas, caimans, and jaguars. The colossal fish also has a significant and considerable weight. With its weight, it moves gracefully and agilely through the water, and this is all because of its torpedo-shaped body and powerful muscles that pose a challenge for locals attempting to spear or net it. It can also survive in brief gulps of air, which is one of the Arapaima's remarkable adaptations. It maintains an evolved swim bladder that doubles as a crude lung, allowing the giant fish to breathe oxygen while minimizing its vulnerable surface time. The anatomical advantage enables the Arapaima to inhabit deoxygenated waters, thereby avoiding competition with other species. In addition, once it is located, it can hold its breath for upwards of 20 minutes, making capturing the beastly fish somewhat easier, though after a struggle befitting its mythic strength. The colossal fish was declared the region's living dinosaur. Arapaima's evolutionary journey in the Amazon has carved it into the premier armored champion, boasting a perfect balance of bronze size and protective scales. This establishes the Arapaima's role as a guardian of the river for many generations to come. Arapaima is used in many ways by local human populations. Its tongue is thought to have medicinal qualities in South America. It is dried and combined with guarana bark, which is grated and mixed into water. Doses are given to kill intestinal worms. The bony tongue is used to scrape cylinders of dried guarana, which is an ingredient in some beverages, and the bony scales are also used as nail files. Arapaima produces boneless steaks, which are considered a delicacy. In the Amazon region, locals often salt and dry the meat. They will roll it into a cigar-style package that is then tied and can be stored without rotting. This is important in a region with little refrigeration. Arapaima is referred to as the cod of the Amazon and can be prepared in the same way as traditional salted cod. Some designers have begun using the skin of the Arapaima as leather to make jackets, shoes, and handbags, and to cover furniture, the Amazonian giant centipede. One of the terrifying wonders discovered is the Amazonian giant centipede, which is termed a dreadful hunter. It is the second largest centipede species as it can prey on smaller jungle inhabitants, which include frogs, rodents, snakes, and even juvenile caimans and ocelots. It is called the dreadful hunter because of the way it hides across the forest floor. Considering its size and tough character, the name given to it is not an overstatement. The centipede has a lengthy, segmented body. This body stretches over a foot and is adorned with several dozen legs. As a sizable centipede, it possesses versatile mobility. This allows it to guide through ground cover in the process of catching prey. The centipede has a brownish-yellow body. It is adorned with darker, more complex designs. This serves as a disguise as it helps it hide among leaf litter and soil. It also makes some defensive hair for protection. Occasionally, the centipede displays warming colors when it feels dangerous. This is to signal its ability to produce poisonous bites. These bites, delivered through massively modified fangs known as forcipules, can cause severe pain. Despite their intimidating size and potent bites, these creatures generally avoid conflicts and put in for speedy retreats into the forest cover when possible. But their powerful venom acts as a powerful protector against almost all attackers. The Peanut Head Bug On the rainforest floor, there is the peanut head bug, which seems to be a humble-looking insect. It has tricks for avoiding predators. It uses false eyes to mimic snakes and lizards as a distraction for wading off hungry birds and eyeing an easy snack. Its impersonations prove unconvincing, it can hide its body to match bark or moss so that it can disappear against jungle debris in seconds. A foul dose of spray from its backside also provides a more forceful barrier. As the master of illusion, it has more magic to ensure a clean escape. 
Occasionally, onlookers witness a ghostly shine spread out from some peanut bugs. Smokescreen was mostly used for blind trackers in a short time. Therefore, the cunning critters outsmart pursuers through clever acts and distractions, though they are naturally small. The peanut bugs are always a step ahead with their many backup plans. The peanut bug, with the botanical name Fulgora laternaria, can reach a length of 3.3 to 3.5 inches. It has a wingspan of up to 3.9 to 5.9 inches. This insect has a swell at its head that is as long as 0.4 to 0.6 inches. So it looks like a peanut and shows false eyes that resemble those of a lizard or a serpent. The insect was originally and mistakenly believed to be bright. When attacked, it protects itself by displaying large, yellow, fake eyes on its hind wings to scare the attacker. It then releases a foul-smelling substance. Adults can be found from June to December. They feed on the sap of plants, mainly from some trees such as Hymenia curbaril, Cimaruba amara, and Xanthoxylum species. It will generally remain hidden on a tree trunk during the day. It will knock its head on a hollow tree to create vibrations for mates. It will lay its eggs on the Hymenia curbaril or guapinol tree and coat them in a waxy substance for protection. Several very similar species in the genus occur from Central to South America, and many museum and commercial specimens identified as Laternaria are other species. Candiru Vampire Fish The Candiru, also known as the Vampire Fish, is a parasitic creature notorious for injecting unlucky victims in a deeply uneasy manner. It targets every imaginable orifice. If anyone falls prey to the Candiru, it means hosting a wriggling eel-like catfish internally secured by its unyielding spines. It makes removal nearly impossible. Candiru's technical name is Trichomictoris candiru. It also has more titles like toothpick and penis fish, hinting at its rumored preference for invading urinary passages. It is under six inches in length. Being an invader, it targets larger aquatic hosts to anchor itself and draws blood using razor-sharp teeth lining its circular mouth. The majority of kangaroo attacks focus on the gills of larger fish. Hence, according to long-standing stories, these creatures invade the intestines, anuses, and urethras of unsuspicious mammals. The Kandiru's reputation is excessive. Its deceitful, parasitic nature and the surrounding rumors have solidified its menacing notoriety. According to local stories, which have boosted the Kandiru into a cautionary boogeyman tale, it ensures that no visitor takes lightly the prospect of entering the Amazon's waterways. T-Rex Leech The Amazon rainforest is also home to a peculiar and problematic creature, the T-Rex Leech. Despite its small size, measuring no more than 5 centimeters, the tiny parasite possesses eight hooked teeth, called fangs, in its undersized mouth. This makes its bite deceptively powerful. Each tooth is less than a millimeter in size, but goes beyond the average leech fangs by fivefold. However, the true horror lies in the leech feeding method, which defies boundaries and social norms. Tyrannobdella is a monotypic genus of leech in the family Proubdelidae. As earlier said, it was also found in South America, in the upper reaches of the Amazon. This newly found genus of leech takes sustenance from the mucous membranes of the mammalian upper respiratory tract and is known to feed on humans. According to a report, Tyrannobdella rex feeds on the mucous membrane of a girl who had recently bathed in the upper Amazon in Peru. To give an analysis of its teeth, unlike related leeches, Tyrannobdella rex has a single jaw with one row of teeth. Its eight teeth are very large, with a length of up to 0.13 millimeters. This inspired the discoverers of the species to use a name reminiscent of Tyrannosaurus rex. These teeth are about five times as long as those in the related genus Limnatus. Also, most often, only six teeth of T-Rex could be seen with a microscope, as the others are invincible. The closely related leech, Pontobdella chipensis, features a likewise reduced number of teeth, namely six per jaw, 
but in turn, it has three jaws. The tenacious T-Rex leech is also known for boring directly into sensitive areas such as the eyes, rectum, bladders, urethras, and any other membrane, providing access to precious fluids from mammal hosts. Surprisingly, its bites are often painless upon puncture thanks to the enzyme-rich spit that acts as a numbing anesthetic. In addition, the leech faces limitations when attempting to burrow deeper through tougher flesh and bone. The fight results in twisting and moving during mealtime. This causes lasting internal injuries to the softer areas of the flesh. This is why scientists debate the tactical advantages of the T-Rex leech's intimate infiltrations into unstable human regions compared to the more external biting by other jungle leeches. Regardless of strategic intent, the T-Rex's leechings and disturbing feeding habits fixed its reputation as one of the rainforest's most spine-chilling parasites. The Queen of Water Lilies Victoria Amazonica as a giant lily pad is delightful and great with its display of alien-like qualities. It stays in the backwaters of the flooded Amazon basin. The circular leaves of this significant plant span over 10 feet wide. Berry red is placed on the undersides, adorned with menacing inch-long spikes along the edges. The piercing spines protect the lily pad from chewing fish. It allows its flowers to mature undisturbed for precious days. The lattice of veins provides structural integrity, helping the lily support wildlife. Towards the evening, the Victoria Amazonica reveals its magnificence with a beautiful floral opening that releases a fragrant aroma. Brilliant white petals move around a captivating center cavity that is two feet deep. It is connected by golden spiked stamens and resembles a futuristic fruit with a secret stash inside. Under the moonlight, the lily pad shines in an otherworldly neon azure, while it attracts scarab beetles during pollination and then shifts to explore its trap that provides shelter and nectar. The lily pad keeps the busy insects waiting until sunlight. At the point the lure closes, it traps them inside to fulfill essential fertilization duties before releasing them the next night. This botanical wonder breaks records in growth, pace, and photosynthetic prowess. Blossoming only in Amazon floodplains and branches, Victoria Amazonica displays the region's evolutionary mastery in sculpting supersized flora designed to outshine invasive species. This is why it earns its appropriate title as the Queen of Water Lilies. The plant continuously amazes onlookers and gives them the freedom to admire its alien attraction from the shore or a canoe. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts and comments on these discoveries? Kindly share them with us in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you later.